Hi everybody, welcome to Fit for Life. Today we're gonna to be stretching for strength. That's why I have my exercise band here. So if you don't have one ready, uh, just take a minute to get it, because this is how we're gonna do strength training. Remember I said twice a week, or three times if you want to. But you know, once you find that you're getting strength and you feel you're getting stronger, and you don't really go up or down, it's, it's probably time to, um, to just do two days, whatever. But even one day is better than no stretching at all or no strengthening. So we are stretching for strength, keep that in mind. Um, and of all the basic fitness components, I think strength might be the most important. Um, they're all good and we need all of them, but um, we need strength to do everything, don't we? Band, you, these bands can uh, improve flexibility and posture too, so keep that in mind because we are we are stretching doing some of these exercises. In fact, we're doing all of them. Um, we're going to strengthen both the upper and lower body, and we can do that at one time with bands because we're holding on to them all the time. So you're always strengthening your upper body, even if we say we're doing lower lower body exercises. So that I think that's pretty good, kind of efficient. Um, they're easy to carry, they're color-coded for, um, you know, the easy and then the medium and then the, the, the tougher. Um, every company has their own color code, so, you know, whatever you think you can do, you want to feel some resistance. You don't want it to be too easy, all right? They're great for your posture and strength also, because when you're pulling back, that's really good for posture. Um, and it's just kind of a different way to maintain strength and your muscle tone which is important, especially, especially with aging. But what we're gonna do first today is, and you probably remember this from the other shows, we're gonna warm up, all right? We are gonna warm up with our morning exercises that I've talked about many times. See if you remember the first one. What did I say is the first thing we should do when we wake up to wake us up a little bit more clear our mind so that when you finally do get up, especially for those people like myself that move fast, you want to make sure your brain is working. So if you have the time, you don't have to rush, you know where, start like this. Just moving those feet back and forth. I mean, what could be easier than this? The person that t showed me how to do these exercises um, did a hundred of these. We don't have to do a hundred. I do about 50. By the way, he did live to be over 100, so kind of pay attention to these exercises. So back and forth, we do this for as long as we can stand it anyway. Uh, the next thing I do is kind of point the toes and then flex the heels. Pointing toes and flexing. Pointing and flexing. This is number four and five and six. And you're lying in bed. You don't even have to open your eyes. There's really... No excuse for not exercising, is there? The third thing I do, sometimes I do my feet together, is circle for ankle flexibility. Do eight or 10, do 20 if you want, but you've got other things to do, and then go in the opposite direction. Easy, common sense things. You don't have to remember all of them, but try to remember that first one with the feet going back and forth, and then we'll do the other side, won't we? circling, circling, and then we'll go the other way. And yes, you might have some soreness in your ankle, in your joints, in your feet, but most of the time it's okay to move. We still need to exercise. We're not always feeling perfect, are we? All right, good. Um, the next thing I do is just kick up. Remember, you're lying down. I, I just remind you so you'll understand. So your leg will go up a little bit higher. It won't go way back like that but it'll go up a higher. Five, six, seven, and eight. If you want to do 10, that's fine. Good. Try the other side. Remember, that leg is flat on the bed, on the mattress. Up, up. Let's see if I can remember them. I usually do about 10. There are 10 different exercises, and then you know me, I throw things in. So whatever comes to my mind, good. I'm going to go back to the other side and go out to the side. One, two, and three. So you're sitting in a chair. If you want, you can 
move your back away from the back of the chair then you're tightening and toning your abdom abdominal area when you do this out to the side you know eight or ten and then the other leg and it's out two three you're strengthening those quads so it's not just stretching you're strengthening too but you do need to stretch the muscles out especially if you've been sleeping five six seven sometimes eight hours right back and forth boy I can really feel that today uh, and then there it is that leg is right on the bed reach underneath and hold that leg up as much as you can this might take a, a little bit of strength but it's it is easier lying down so do keep that in mind all right then the other side we have two legs lifting up you can flex your foot and then you get a stretch in your calf muscle too forgot to mention that to you so that's that's a good one too all right now for your hips and the sides of your body okay we're lying here um i'm going to bend Keep this one straight, and then slide the foot back. Lift the leg up, and just kind of drop it here, and then out to the side, here. And you won't have to use your hand when you're lying down, unless you want to, because that will give you a little more of a stretch. So you're crossing in front of the body. I'm gonna say six, seven, eight, nine and ten huh. so lift up again and over here I'm going to do both sides and three can you feel that tightening you will feel the tightening believe me and five and six and seven and eight now we can't really do a good job on the next one. It's very similar to what we just did. You're gonna do both legs to the side. Let's, let's just practice anyway, because if this one feels good, unless you are having a problem with your hip, if you've had hip or knee surgery or any kind of surgery, um, and you know what you're supposed to do, people get physical therapy when they have those kind of surgeries, and you probably have some sheets that you can follow so you know what you can do and not do crossing the leg over if you've had hip surgery or even knee surgery would not be a good idea so just just remember you know to follow follow the rules and maybe you won't use everything I give you but just just keep that in mind all right good um, another thing I do and we can't do this either unfortunately more toward the end of my exercises is to um, to do the, the yoga bridge where, where your knees are bent, feet are flat on the mattress, and you lift, you lift your bottom up. That is a great, great strengthener for your lower back. It also tightens the abdomen. Oh, I love, I love that exercise. I try to do about eight of them. So just, just remember eight is kind of the magic number for us. Yeah, it is. So let's try one more anyway. I'm gonna to try to do one in the chair, just lifting up. Just be careful. You'll know whether you can do it or not. So that's most of what I do. Um, I also, lying flat is tucking the pelvis under a little bit. I do those. And just tucking under as if you were taking a ballet class. So all of these will give you a nice warm up in the morning. And then you can get up and, and carry on for the day. But what we're gonna do now is some strengthening with our bands. These are called exercise bands, therabands, dynabands. Uh, they are sometimes used in physical therapy, so it's kind of interesting. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I have a new band, I'm so proud of it. Behind the back. Behind your back. Now we're not wrapping the band, we're just holding on to the ends. You're sitting up, sit up nice and straight, and you're just gonna pull out. Just pull the band out. You should, you should feel resistance. Uh, some, some of these bands are too light. You want to feel like you're doing something. And sometimes you have to buy um, three at a time. That's how they're usually sold, I think. And they'll give you three different 
um, three different weights. So just choose the one that's a little bit of a challenge for you. I'm going to say six and seven and eight. Do you want to do ten? We could do ten. So that's out. Can you feel your abdomen tightening too? All right. Let's just relax. Put those arms right on the arms of the chair. I hope you have arms on your chair. I guess they call those captain's chairs. They used to, anyway. But let's relax just for a minute. Drop the chin down. Oh, you feel a nice stretch. Not just in your neck, but in your, in your upper back, in your shoulders. So let's lift the shoulders up a few times. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Just to loosen up a little bit. And seven, and eight. And now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do kind of a crossover thing. I want you to bring one arm down a little bit. Cross that under, then the other arm cross under. It'll be a little more comfortable, I think. Find a comfortable spot on your back that doesn't hurt the front of your body. And good, so crossing over, under, 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 and you're kind of reaching up at the same time. Cross it over again, under and over, good. That's enough of that, I think. Let's relax for a minute, grab your water. I hope you all have water, that's important. We need water to dissolve, dissolve all of those pills that we take, all those vitamins we take, um, and for some of us, medications too, right? All right, let's do a few more now. All right, here's what we're gonna do. This time, I think we're gonna wrap the band. We don't do that very often, but we're gonna wrap this one. And I think my band is a little bit longer than usual. I may have to wrap, yeah. Just, just, I just wanna make sure that you're feeling some resistance, all right? My band is a medium weight. I usually use a heavy weight, but we're gonna lift up. Good. Pull out to the sides, one. Feel that in your arms, your upper back. You're tightening your abdomen as you do this too, that's good. And four, and five, and six, and seven. Let's just do eight of these, okay? Eight is good. Bring your hands together and rest your chin. Make a little shelf. Yeah, we take a little nap between movements, right? Good. All right, arms straight out and pull out one. Now, if you're not feeling much resistance, wrap one side again. And if you wrap both sides, it's, you're gonna feel a lot of resistance. So you'll just kind of practice and experiment a little bit. Out. I'm gonna say this is five and six and seven and eight. How are you doing? Good. Drop the chin down again, just a little relaxation here. Bring the arms down, we'll do a little bit of a rest. Push your shoulders forward, 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 and forward. Just Let's do two more, five. Oh, let's do eight. Do eight, forward and forward, all right. Now, I'd like you to take the band, put it right here in front of your knees. You don't have to be touching your knees. And you're gonna pull out, I think I'm gonna wrap one more time for the knees. Out, look at your arms, you'll see a little definition in those muscles. Try not to round over, keep the back straight as you come forward. Good posture always, right? Good. I kinda like this one for some reason. Good. Out to sides. All right, now after this, we'll take about a half a minute to rest. And we're gonna do this with the lower body. We've been working on mostly the upper body, haven't we? So grab some water, take a few deep breaths, and we'll start working on the lower body a little bit. I'm gonna sit back 
Guess what I forgot to do? And I picked some really good thoughts for the day. So I'm gonna do that now while, I, while we do a little rest. This one is short and sweet. The only sin is mediocrity. Who said that? Dancer and choreographer Martha Graham. And boy, she was tough. She danced well into her 80s. And uh, if, you, if you went to the Martha Graham School of Dance, you were really doing something. And the second one is, hmm. During my 87 years, I have witnessed a whole succession of technological revolutions, but none of them has done away with the need for character in the individual or the ability to think. And that is Bernard Baruch. I knew someone that met him at an airport and he took her out to lunch. Of course, they never saw each other again, but it's a nice experience. So you're ready to work the lower body. Yes, we are. Band under both feet. Both feet, all right. We're not wrapping the band, no. And you're gonna lift those feet up, good. I want you to pull up a little bit so we have some resistance. And my, can you see my posture going? Let's sit up, you should remind me. And you can put your arms down on the arms of the chair. Put the band maybe, um, if you haven't already done that, kind of in the middle of the foot so it doesn't pop off. And we're gonna do the same thing we did for the bed exercises. You're gonna point and flex two. How's that? Again, you're tightening your abdomen. You don't have to do your sit-ups. See that? And five and six. If this was too difficult, you could just take your arms off and straighten your arms out that will give you less resistance. So pointing and flexing. And we're holding on, so we're, we're strengthening our upper body too, not just the lower body. So that's the good part about this. Let's rest, put the heels down, and just come forward. Try to keep your back straight if you can. Sitting up nice and straight, shoulders down, pull that chin in. Wonderful. Now I'm gonna give you a really tough one. And this tightens, tones, and stretches just about all of your lower body. I should have said strengthens. So we're gonna lift those feet up and you're gonna pull the band up a little bit. You can rest your arms if you want to and you're gonna pull your feet apart. Now you're gonna really notice this in the hips. So be very careful. You may not be able to do this or shouldn't do this at all, but we know ourselves best. We know what we can do and can't do, right? So bring those feet back. And now straighten the arms, sit up nice and straight and try it. This will be a little bit easier. You're still getting a great exercise. I love this one. Hold it as long as you can. If you can hold it for four, that's great. Eight is better. Tightens, tones, and strengthens. I'm gonna say just about all of the lower body. We have 600 muscles. I can't say exactly that every single one of those little buggers is exercising or getting stronger, right? We do the best we can, don't we? All right, let's do one more and pull out. I'm gonna straighten my arms this time. We're getting a little tired, yes? You're doing a great job, I'm sure. We just ask you to try, that's all. Great, feet back, heels down, and let go with one hand so the band doesn't snap. Great. Now we're gonna do some kind of easy, fun stuff that I, I think you're gonna like under the foot, holding on to the ends, lifting up, pulling back a little bit. You can rest your arms or not, either way is fine. And you're gonna bounce one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, let's do more, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You see, it's so much fun. I mean, you just want to do a whole bunch. Nice and tall, pull that chin in. Yes, we must do that. Relax those arms a little bit, straighten them out. Good. Side to side. A couple of shoulder rolls. Good. Lifting the foot up again. This time, we're going to go out to the side. A one, a two. Good for the hip, a three. And the abdomen, and the lower back, 
and the arms, and six, and seven, and eight, nine, we're doing 16, aren't we, 10, 11, and 12, and 13, and 14, and 15, and 16, and down, wonderful. All right, now you're gonna let go with one hand. We have two legs, you have to do the other side, right? Yes, under the foot, under the foot. Kind of in the middle of the foot, holding onto the ends, lifting up, pulling back a little bit and bouncing. One, two, good, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can see where the stretching comes in, right? Flexing that foot a little bit. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now, if this is tough, straighten those arms. It will make it a little bit easier, won't it? Good. Chin down, head up, straight, turn, turn, and bend. How's that? Out to the side, and a one, and a two, and a three, and four, isn't this fun? Bet you never thought you'd be doing movements like this, right? I try to make it kind of fun for you because it really is important. Remember, we don't stop playing because we grow old. Have you memorized it? We grow old because we stop doing these things. Mm -hmm. We grow old because we stop playing. Put that heel right down and let's let go. We don't need that anymore. Um, I would like to do one more at least. This is a good one. This is to strengthen the quadriceps. So we'll put the band under one foot again, kind of in the middle, holding onto the ends. Let the ends flop over a little bit so that you'll have some resistance. Lift that leg up, rest your arms on the arms of the chair, watch your posture. Try to remember that and push down, one. Now, if you don't feel much resistance, move your hands farther down, good. Wonderful, keep going, five, and six, seven, let's do 10, because this is so much fun. Oh, let's do a few more. I like this one a lot, good. Can you feel that in your knee? Did you hear my knee, it just clicked? It did. All right, we have to do the other side. So this is specifically for the quadriceps, holding on to those ends, Let them flop over a little bit, lift, forearms on the arms of the chair, and you're going to push down, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, I can feel that in the hip today. Uh, let's say this is 10 coming up, 11, 12, 13. Can you feel that? Your arms are getting so strong. Keep going, keep going. All right, enough. Now, I know I said this was the last one, didn't I? Mm. I just want to try something quickly. You don't have to. You can watch if you'd like. Yeah, you're going to kind of bring those feet not touching, but bring them in together, kind of together, closer. And you're going to make mm, kind, of a, kind of a loose knot. You will be, you'll be able to take it out, not to worry. Posture. Move one out. You know, you might want to tie, tie it a little bit closer next time and just bring that leg out to the side. Now, again, be careful. This does involve the hip. But you could maybe do it gently. All right, just bring that leg out a little. I, I really feel I should tie this a little tighter. So why don't we bring those knees almost touching. Again, be careful of your hip. You know what it is? This is kind of slipping. I think that's what it is. Out to the other side now, try it. Two and three. I kind of like this one. Lower back, hip abdomen, your core, big part of your core, right? Good, out, and out. 
this, I really like this. And I know I did not invent this. It's just something I added to my repertoire. Well, thanks for trying. Let's put the band away, grab your water. I was going to do a little meditation with you today, but sometimes we don't have time for that, do we? Great. Okay. Let me try to find one, one more pithy saying here. Hmm. <laughs> this is Picasso. I'm not sure if I get it or like it. Um, age only matters when one is aging. Now that I have arrived at a great age, I might just as well be 20. Artist Pablo, Pablo Picasso. Um, I think he lived to be at least in his 90s. Am I right about that? Well, thank you for trying all these exercises with me today. Um, Try to do them on your own. Try to at least take a walk every day if you can. Five days is good, even three days. If it's every other day, something like that. The Surgeon General says we need about half an hour of some kind of activity. And you can do it in sections. You don't have to do it all at once. You can do some gardening. You can dance in front of the television. Um, do a little strength training. Hold on to your weights while you're watching television. Just stay active, it will pay off. And I wanna thank you again for visiting today and we will see you next time. Remember what I said, we don't stop playing because we grow old, say it with me. We grow old because we stop playing and I really believe that. Bye for now, see you next time. <laughs>